Ever feel like your aim just isn't trustworthy? One moment it's crisp, the next it's slipping for no obvious reason? If your mouse feels floaty, your shots don't land when they should, or your inputs don't register instantly, it's probably not your FPS or your hardware. It's wireless input latency. Even with high polling rate mice and low latency keyboards, Windows can quietly sabotage your inputs through aggressive power saving, inefficient USB scheduling, and poorly prioritized interrupts. The result? Tiny delays you can't see on a frame counter, but you feel in every flick, tap, and strafe. Today, we're fixing that. In this video, we'll dive deep into how Windows actually handles USB devices, clean up inconsistent polling behavior, properly prioritize input interrupts, and strip away hidden latency that affects every click and key press, especially in competitive games where milliseconds decide the outcome. By the end, your inputs won't just feel faster, they'll feel reliable. Step 1. Verify input latency and DPC behavior. Before changing anything, confirm the issue. Use LatencyMon, Mouse Tester, or Kovax Input Latency Test. Look for high DPC execution times tied to USB or HID drivers, inconsistent polling intervals, input delay spikes during movement or shooting. If DPC spikes appear when moving your mouse, you're dealing with USB scheduling issues, not game settings. Step 2. Fix USB power saving, the biggest latency killer. Windows aggressively applies power saving rules to USB devices, even while you're actively gaming. This can cause delayed inputs, random micro freezes, mouse polling drops, and inconsistent keyboard response. We're going to disable all of that behavior. Disable USB Selective Suspend system level. Open Power Options and go to Advanced Settings. Navigate to USB Settings, USB Selective Suspend setting. Set this to Disabled. What this does, prevents Windows from suspending USB ports mid-session, keeps mouse and keyboard polling consistent, stops random wake-up delays during fast input, reduces intermittent input lag during long gaming sessions. Apply the change and keep the window open. Disable power saving on USB devices, device level. Open Device Manager. Expand Universal Serial Controllers. For each of the following devices, repeat the steps below. USB Root Hub. Generic USB Hub. Any wireless receiver or dongle for mouse or keyboard. Now for each device, right-click Properties. Go to the Power Management tab. Uncheck Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Click OK and move to the next device. Why this matters? Prevents brief USB disconnects. Stops Windows from lowering polling rates. Eliminates random mouse stutters or missed inputs. Keeps competitive peripherals fully powered at all times. Step 3. Registry tweaks for USB and HID latency. Now we lock these changes in at the system level. Even after disabling power options, Windows can still apply hidden low power behavior to USB and HID devices. These registry tweaks fully prevent that. Open the registry editor. Press Win plus R, type RegEdit, and press Enter. Disable USB Selective Suspend at the driver level. Navigate to this path. Create or modify the following DWORD 32-bit value. Disable Selective Suspend equals 1. What this does forces USB drivers to remain active at all times. Prevents background power gating of USB controllers. Stops latency spikes caused by USB wake cycles complements the power plan changes from the previous step. If the value does not exist, right-click, New, DWORD 32-bit, then name it exactly as shown. Prevent HID devices from entering idle states. Now navigate to this path. Create or modify the following DWORD 32-bit value. 
idle enabled equals zero. Why this matters stops mice and keyboards from entering low power idle, eliminates wake up delay on the first movement or click, reduces input jitter on wireless peripherals, keeps polling behavior consistent during gameplay. This is especially important for high polling rate mice and wireless receivers. Step four, USB interrupt priority and MSI mode. This step fine tunes how Windows handles mouse and keyboard interrupts. By switching USB devices to MSI mode and raising their priority, we remove legacy interrupt bottlenecks that cause input delay and jitter. Download MSI Utility V3, also called MSI Mode Utility. Right-click the tool and select Run as Administrator. Running as Admin is required to modify interrupt mode safely. Once open, you'll see a list of system devices and how they currently handle interrupts. Enable MSI Mode for USB devices. Locate your USB controller in the list. If shown, also locate HID-related devices tied to your mouse or keyboard. For each applicable device, check the MSI box. This switches the device from legacy line-based interrupts to message-signaled interrupts, which are faster and more direct. What this change does removes interrupt sharing delays, prevents USB input from waiting behind other devices, reduces DPC latency during heavy CPU or GPU load, improves input consistency in fast camera or aim movement. Set interrupt priority. For the USB controller, set interrupt priority to high. Only for testing, if your system becomes slow, remove it. This ensures mouse and keyboard events are handled immediately, even when the system is busy rendering frames or streaming assets. If HID devices have a priority option available, leave them at normal unless you experience instability. You just removed hidden latency that affects every single input. Your mouse and keyboard are now running at full responsiveness without windows getting in the way. You now have more consistent input polling intervals, reduced micro jitter and mouse movement, smoother aim tracking during rapid motion. This is especially helpful for competitive shooters and fast-paced games. If this helped, leave a like, comment your mouse and keyboard, and subscribe for more system-level performance guides. I'll see you in the next one.